Well, after yesterday's accident with uh, Michael's arm, I feel like I should stay in this suit oh. for the majority of the work time. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Feeling great. We're bus builders. <laughs> Let's see this arm. Oh, it's actually not, uh, just got a nice big black and blue. So I don't know even know what comes up on the camera. Well, there we but, go. Uh, it's finally in focus. Yeah, it didn't cut. That's why you were, uh, wear the proper clothing. The blade didn't actually cut my skin. It's just an impact cut. So, Ouch. uh, yeah, I think we said it in yesterday's video, but, uh, anyone who's working on buses, wear the right stuff. That's right. It will protect you. Something is bound to go wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So today I think we are going to play with the windows that we're covering back there and work on these windows and um, Michael and I are realizing the challenges of uh, working in the sticks. You know, about an hour, an hour away from a major hardware store and 20 minutes away from a small hardware store. But yeah, we're going to definitely uh, get some work done today and uh, kick some butt. And hopefully Mike won't injure something else with the spray cans. Yeah, no, that would be, that would be ideal. <laughs> okay, here we are. Check out this program right here. This is what we're talking about. Ow! Excuse me. Angle iron is uh, a little harder than me. Okay, so we're going to play around with these. We're going to play around with the window sills. If you didn't understand what I said before, which is totally okay. Didn't really describe it all that well, but yeah, we're gonna, those two things board up these two things. We're gonna spray all this stuff. Ready, set, go. Just update you, update you guys. I'm just taking a screwdriver like this and uh, just taking out some of this here caulking. And that's pretty much what my morning looks like today. All right, there we go. We got a little uh, priming going on of the uh, window sill. What's hanging out of your nose? I got a nosebleed. I can't win. <laughs> so you hit yourself in the mouth, the face, nose? No, yeah, I, I like went like that and just hit my nose, <laughs> and then I felt my nose pop open. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah, he's just having a couple of rough days. You know what? Let's all make him feel better, and let's go subscribe to his channel, Navigation Nowhere. Don't no, be able... nosebleeds and uh, grinding <laughs> arms. You'll learn safety tips. Yeah, that's right. How not to injure yourself. How to whack yourself in the face. <laughs> all right, this is about as clean as it's gonna get right there. This little window seal. Let me see if it's in focus. There you go. Now it's time to uh, spray the window, so I'm gonna grab a can of spray paint wherever it is. Back of the truck. Four primed uh, window replacements, I guess we could call them. And uh, I have a feeling I should use that spray paint on these here windows. All right, got the uh, metal spray painted. I'm not really actually sure if you need to do that, but we did just to play it safe. The spray paint is really cheap. It's just primer. The whole thing's getting painted anyway, so you might as well. By the way, he's. Uh, He's back working inside with his uh, broken ve blood vessel and all. This uh, top, top secret thing on the ceiling is taking shape here. We just put in a piece of... Uh, angle iron uh, as with the previous two videos if anybody has a guess throw it in the comments because we haven't unveiled this yet and the reason that we're kind of keeping it uh, top secret is we know a lot of people are following what we're doing which is amazing and we love uh, you know uh, inspiring people but we we, we just want to make sure it's done before it's finished you know yeah. what I mean yeah, we want to make sure that it's actually gonna work out the way we think and just kind of have the big reveal a big surprise because uh, it makes sense in our heads, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you yeah. gotta build it first. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the situation? Well, this is the situation. I'm using my uh, high-tech weather forecasting 3D infrared 
weather, sonar. The wind's coming from this way, but we do have rain off to the, in the distance. So I'm going to say we are A-OK, -okay, and there's a 100% chance of me being wrong. <laughs> Here's the update. We, uh, psh, psh, uh, we I spray painted this. He's in there welding crap. I spray painted that also. I also did this part. Uh, looks like I've missed a spot there. That's okay. Uh, but we are going to try to get two window coverings in, I believe. I should probably spray paint that top to bottom just to be on the safe side. Don't you this? think? Yeah. No, no, the inside. Like oh, this part yeah, that's grinded. Should be. Yeah. So uh, we'll do that. If it starts to rain, we're going to have to pull the covers over again. But the good thing is these things look like they are uh, pretty good, pretty primed. Got a little uh, rain delay. Uh, the uh, weather is uh, kind of uh, turning here, so I don't know if you can see those uh, trees turning in the distance. But uh, yeah, so we're just inside now. Probably not the smartest place to be in a thunderstorm. No, but uh, uh, we're on rubber tires. Right, rubber tires. I actually don't, is that a true thing? I don't know. Is that like uh, what our parents told us when we were younger? I don't know, but I don't. Someone tell me in the comments below. I don't think I want to find out, but I we're going to clean those windows up. <laughs> I can see how uh, Navigation Nowhere hurt himself with that thing. It's been so fast. Um, I'm just now finishing up. You can't tell I was wearing these for safety too because this thing just shakes. It's so fast, man. The revolutions per minute is way, way, way more than that other one that, uh, that broke on us, the Ryobi. So basically I just uh, kind of clean these things up. Are we re and and uh, putting in windows? Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to do that, and uh, let's do a little time lapse. windows back in we use some window caulking here might as well just show you and tell you about it right there that black bead uh, by the windows right there is caulking and that's what keeps everything nice and happy and waterproofed uh, in the bus around the windows so we are playing with this the other side of this is that and it looks it looks like so, right? So we just kind of pre-drilled it. We didn't waterproof it yet. We're playing with it just to see what happens. There's a big massive gap up there. Uh, we took this out on this side and we need to replace this with something else similar to this uh, to create a waterproof you know, situation here. Are you ready to eat? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Do you tell cool. them what we're eating? No, I don't think so. Might as well. So this is what we're eating. Carnitas! So basically, just took a pork shoulder, spices, you know, just let it cook for like 10 hours in the slow cooker. So we're gonna go eat and then we're gonna get back to this because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to put these windows in. I'm very excited. All right. Yo, Miguel. What's up? How'd you like the food? Yo, it was very good. Not bad, huh? No, it was very good. All right. Uh, by the way, we got back here, and it's, oh man, of course right when I turn the camera on it stops, but it, no, it hasn't stopped. You guys see this? I don't know if you can see it or not. We got blue skies up here, right? Check that out. And it's raining. I don't understand that. Like, where, 
What, from, what cloud dropped the rain? I don't understand. There is no cloud around here. But anyways, <laughs> there is a most intense rainbow over there. But it's probably gone because the rain stopped. There was like three bands of purple. I've never seen anything like that. It wasn't just a regular rainbow. It was like a quadruple rainbow. It was That was intense. That uh, dude on YouTube smokes too much weed, loves rainbows, probably really love that one. So here's what uh, the inside looks uh, like. Um, we are blocking off, we're removing two windows. We're keeping the back window there, but these ones are going. Uh, there's gonna be some kind of like wall thing here. That's like the shower. The toilet, you can you know wave to people and all that fun stuff, so we're gonna leave that window. The same thing is happening on this other side. Um, and, you know, we're just repurposing some windows. And we're going to use two of the four windows that we took out in order to put them back here. I don't know anybody else who has put windows back in a bus, but, you know, we just like windows. So why not? Anyways, life is good. Dinner is great. We're going to get back to work. All right, we, uh, we got this thing all marked up. And I, I think, I don't know if we mentioned what it was so far, but it, it's not really a big breaking news piece on the bus. We'll put it this way. You've seen it before somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, this will be a skylight, uh, although uh, I don't know how much sky we'll see back here. Uh, we'll get into that later in, an in another video. But uh, Mike's just, uh, you know, cut this thing up. He's got it in there nice and secure and uh, he's gonna weld it up, so I'm gonna assist. Mm -hmm. 